<laughs> Ni hao. Before you get excited about my ability to speak foreign languages, I want to confess that my propensity for speaking perfect Southern English prevents me from mastering a lot of different languages. But international trade is a, uh, a priority of mine, and it's been that way since I became commissioner. And I think it, uh, it comes from me knowing as a farmer that the best way to raise farm gate receipts and to um, have opportunity for agriculture in this state is international trade. And, uh, if you think about 95% of all our customers uh, lay outside the borders of the United States, so there, there's plenty of opportunity out there if, uh, if we seize on it. Since 2005, my staff has worked very hard at opening international markets, and, uh, and I think we've been successful over this past decade. The value of North Carolina agricultural exports has grown by over 200%. Uh, that's a figure that I am uh, uh, proud of. And it, it does not include an additional $1 billion in, in forestry exports that we uh, send out of North Carolina. So we can safely say we're over $5 billion in agricultural exports. For the past 10 years, we've been using the slogan, Got to BNC, to stress how good North Carolina uh, agricultural products are to the rest of the world, and I really believe they're listening with the success we've, uh, we've had. We've concentrated on trade missions uh, to Europe and Asia, uh, and I'm especially proud of what we've been able to do uh, with uh, the Chinese market in uh, and, and the things we've been able to do to get these products in there. Uh, but it's not just these markets that we're in. Uh, today, uh, as I speak, uh, my chief deputy, David Smith, is on a trade mission with Deputy Secretary of Agriculture for the United States, Chris Harden, to Ghana. Uh, now, that may seem like a strange place, but the reports I'm getting back from David right now is there is opportunity there. But I'm especially happy about the success we've had in exporting tobacco to China. Now, you think tobacco's dead in North Carolina. Well, it remains our number one export crop. Uh, in a short period of time, China has become the second largest importer of our tobacco, uh, and I can see that being number one uh, in a short period of time. In fact, we built such good relationships with China Tobacco, they actually have opened their North American headquarters here in this area, which is a big boom for North Carolina. Uh, but let's just don't talk about uh, tobacco or other crops. We also uh, export other uh, commodities around the world. Uh, one, a, a good example is Ford's uh, Foods Bone Sucking Sauce that is now in over 70 countries worldwide. Uh, Miss Jenny's Pickles has made the, uh, the national news as exporting her product from North Carolina. We're very proud of these, uh, these commodities. Uh, we actually opened a trade office in Beijing, China to be able to further our relationships uh, with particularly China Tobacco International, but we now moved that office to Shanghai to uh, broaden our, our reach of ex agricultural exports. We're one of the few states in the nation that actually has a dedicated agricultural trade office in China, and I think that is part of the reason that we have success. We've heard this morning about relationships, and international trade is about uh, relationships, and I myself have taken several trade missions to help uh, with the, the export of these crops from North Carolina. So you name it, uh, what crop do we export in North Carolina? Well, the pork, poultry, of course. Uh, we uh, export cotton, soybeans, uh, even a few Christmas trees. Every crop that we basically, that we grow in North Carolina, we import in some way to reach that $4 billion uh, market level that I talked about. Uh, there's one thing that I didn't talk about. Uh, it's, and I think I've got an example of this crop in my pocket here. And you have one in front of you, sweet potatoes. Well, you know why North Carolina is number one in the nation in uh, the growing of sweet potatoes? It's because we export. And I can't tell you how proud it makes me to go to, uh, especially to Europe, and walk into a grocery store or a restaurant, and I see got to be NC, and North Carolina sweet potatoes are being sampled for people to enjoy in Europe. Now, that makes me proud. So we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, sweet potatoes this morning, and the fellow that uh, knows a lot about this is uh, Jose uh, Pepe Calderon, and he is the international sales manager for Farm Pack and Spring Hope. 
Farm PAC was our uh, Department of Agriculture 2009 Exporter of the Year, uh, and he wants to tell you about the success that they've had uh, in the export of sweet potatoes. So you've got one in front of you, and I, if I were you, I wouldn't waste it. Uh, I certainly would take it home with me. Thanksgiving is uh, just a short ways away, and this is one of the, the staples of Christmas and Thanksgiving, so take it home and enjoy it. So I'm going to bring out Pepe now to talk to you about how you're successful in the export of North Carolina sweet potatoes. Thank you.